क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन से बॉल इज प्रोजेक्टेड एट एन एंगल सिक्सटी डिग्री अब दॉरिजोंटल विद स्पीड थर्टी मीटर्स पर सेकेंड आफ्टर सर्टन टाइम इट मेक्स एन एंगल फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री इज विदिजोंटल द स्पीड ऑफ बॉल एट दैट मोमेंट इज नाउ डे स्टूडेंट्स इन अ प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन दॉरिजोंटल कॉम्पोनेट ऑफ दॉसिटी वुड रिमेन अनचेंज बिकॉज देर इज नो हॉरिजोंटल एक्सेलरेशन इन द मोशन If we draw the initial velocity, the initial velocity has a magnitude of 30 meter per second, and it is inclined at an angle of 60 degree with the horizontal. So initially, the horizontal component of the velocity is equal to 30 cos 60, that will be 15, and the vertical component of the velocity will be 30 sin 60, which will be equal to 15. Root three. Now, dear students, when the particle is moving at an angle of forty-five degree with the horizontal, let us assume that the velocity at that instant be v. At that instant, the horizontal component of the velocity would remain same as the initial horizontal component, that is fifteen meter per second. Let us assume that the vertical component of the velocity is v y. Now this angle is forty-five degrees. We can write, dear students, that tan forty-five here would be equal to v by divided by fifteen, which means that v by is equal to fifteen meters per second. Now the speed v is the vectorial summation of v by and fifteen. That means that v is equal to under root of v by square plus. 15 square that is under root of 15 square plus 15 square which is equal to 15 root 2 meters per second which means dear students that the question number 31 has option number 2 as its correct answer let us proceed to the next question which is question number 32 question number 32 says a particle is projected from a very tall tower With a speed 20 meter per second at an angle 30 degree with the horizontal, the magnitude of displacement of the particle after 10 second will be. Now, dear students, the displacement of the particle in vector form can be written as r vector is equal to u cos theta t i cap plus u sin theta t minus half g t square j cap. Where theta is the angle of projection from the horizontal, g is the acceleration due to gravity, and u is the initial speed of projection. In this particular question, u is given to be equal to 20, theta is given to be equal to 30 degrees, and g is equal to 10 meter per second square. On substituting the given values, we can write r vector to be equal to 20 cos 30 into time. Here time is 10 seconds. That means t is equal to 10 seconds. Multiplied by 10 i cap plus 20 sin 30 into 10 minus half into 10 into 10 square j cap. The students r here would be equal to 100 root 3 i cap minus 400. J cap. The magnitude of R would be equal to under root of hundred root three whole square plus four hundred whole square. This turns out to be equal to hundred root nineteen meters. Dear students, which means that option number four for this particular question is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the question number thirty-three. Question number thirty-three says a particle is projected at an angle theta with the horizontal from ground. If slope of the trajectory of the particle is m, then dm by dt as a function of time t can be best represented as. Now, dear students, the equation of trajectory of a projectile can be written as y is equal to x tan theta minus half g x square divided by U square cos square theta. Dear students, herein 
dy by dx will be the slope and it will be equal to tan theta minus gx by u square cos square theta. Dear students, we have to find out the dependency of dm by dt on time. Let us try to differentiate this expression. The differentiation of tan theta would be 0 because it is a constant and the differentiation of the second term would yield minus g by u square cos square theta into dx by dt. Dear students, here dx by dt is the horizontal component of the velocity of the particle which would remain constant. We can further simplify it and write that this will be equal to minus g by u square cos square theta into ux. Now dear students, the value of dm by dt turns out to be a negative constant. And the only graph which correctly represents this behavior or variation of dm by dt with time is option number 3, which is our correct answer. Now let us proceed to question number 34. Question number 34 says, in the figure shown, the two stones are projected simultaneously. The minimum separation between the stones will be. Now dear students, before proceeding with this question, let us first resolve the velocities of each stone into vertical and horizontal direction. For stone A, the vertical component of velocity will be 20 by root 3 sine 60 which will be equal to 10 meter per second. For B, the vertical component of the velocity will be 20 sine 30 which will be equal to 10 meter per second. Now dear students, we can see that the vertical component of the velocity of both particle is same. Therefore, the relative velocity in the vertical direction would be zero and hence there will be the relative velocity only in the line joining A and B direction which means that according to A that is in the observation frame of A if we observe B we will see that B would move towards a rectilinearly. Now dear students, it means that B would actually collide with A or in other terms A would collide with B. That means the minimum separation between them would be 0. Therefore dear students, the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 4. Now let us proceed to the question number 35. Question number 35 says, a girl running on ground observes rain to be falling at a speed 10 meter per second. The rain is falling vertically downward at a speed 6 meter per second with respect to girl when she was at rest. The speed of girl is. Now dear students, as per the question, the rain is actually with respect to ground falling with a speed 6 meter per second vertically downward. So the velocity of rain is vertically downward and has a magnitude of 6 meter per second. When the girl moves on the ground, let us assume that she is moving with a speed vg, having a velocity vector vg vector, then the velocity of rain with respect to girl has a magnitude of 10 meter per second as per the question. Now dear students, velocity of rain with respect to girl would be velocity of rain minus velocity of girl. Now since the velocity of rain and velocity of girl are in mutually perpendicular directions, their subtraction would have a magnitude 6 square that is velocity of rain square plus Vg square which leads us to the equation that 10 is equal to under root of 6 square plus Vg square. Dear students which means that Vg would be equal to 8 meter per second. That means option number 2 for this particular question is the correct answer. Let us proceed to the next question dear students and the next question in the test is question number 36.